Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. I uh, just thought I'd do another track guide here for Magnet Cores because uh, the one the other day wasn't very good. I was trying to set up my computer. It probably wasn't the best representation of how quick you go or how quick I could go around the track. So uh, I just thought I'd uh, redo it just for future reference or for anyone else that jumps on the channel. Alright, so coming into the first corner here at Magnet Cores, bit of a tricky course. Um, I've put my brake bias a little bit further than what Jamie does forward. I put it onto 52, I think it was, 52.2. Uh, so coming on to this first corner, I'll talk about this uh, chicane here a little bit later. It's a little bit tricky. I've seen a few different ways to go through it, but um, yeah, I'll talk about that later on in the lap. So coming down the main straight here, use all of this uh, green out on the right here, I've noticed. I don't know if that's a, it's like a, a bug or something, but uh, yeah, you can use all of that out on the right there and um, uh, set up your first corner a little bit better. It's so coming up to your first corner here. Um, right about here, just uh, as about half your car goes through the uh, red and white ripple strip on the right there, I get off the accelerator and just, just lightly on the brake, uh, as you'll see here on the telemetry, just lightly on the brake coming in and just hugging this curb here and trying not to drift too far out to the right as you'll see here. So coming through nice and tight there, sort of about mid to three quarters of the way across the track here. And then coming in and trying to get your right tyres right close to this uh, right curb again a little bit. I think everyone's sort of straight line in this corner pretty much straight through to here. I sort of come out just a little bit just to get the car further around the track so you're not drifting all the way out here into the um, entry from uh, pit lane. So I'll just show you this one here coming through. See that just out from the curve just a little bit. So I've gone uh, back through the gears. I've gone back from four, back to fourth, back to third um, before basically the uh, end of the entrance from the pits there. That keeps you sort of it gives you that compression as i always talk about compression uh, on the back tires which uh, pulls you up and gets the arse end of the car just sort of turning more into the corner so i don't drift all the way out here i come to about here uh keep your momentum keep your pace up through the corner just to keep the car nice and stable and then it's it's sort of um going by feel there's not really a marker around here as to where to accelerate or whatever but um yeah just keeping on the accelerator and then as you feel the car start coming back into the corner start accelerating into the corner and trying to come back in and keep it nice and tight and then drifting out to the left as you'll see so coming into mid track sort of there on the accelerator again as you can see just trying to get the car around nice and tight and then all the way out there to the back left side of the uh course it's coming down the back straight here nothing too complicated just keep your pace up as much as you can hitting your uh, gear changes exactly where you want to hit them now this can be a really tricky one um uh this hairpin because you're pretty much flat stick uh, 250 k's down the back straight here up in sixth gear and then you've got to pull it all the way back up to, I pull it all the way back up to first gear so um, yeah it can be a little bit tricky this white line here I sort of use that as a judge I sort of if I'm going to break really late and I try to take try to overtake someone it's usually just before the white line and then really quick down through the gears uh, try not to lock the back brakes or the brakes um, but as you can see I'm already on the brakes here so probably at the end of this little green uh, curb part here between that and the white line there you want to start breaking from six as I said all the way back down to first in a straight line and then coming in and hugging uh, the apex as usual as you see here so all the way back down the gears all the way back down to first coming in I've come in a little bit early there um, I've noticed a lot of people coming out and I usually do on a hairpin I'll come I'll leave it a little bit later and instead of coming in this way I'll sort of come around this way so that you get a better exit but for some reason, I just found this sort of worked on this uh, lap tonight for some reason. So coming in, hitting your apex. <clears throat> uh, once you get to about here on the apex or on the corner, uh, short shifting into second and then accelerating out, just watching <clears throat> your exit there as it uh, can get a little bit slippery in the arse and it'll spin out. It's coming out of that one, hard as you can. You can use all that green curve over there on the left, over the bump, into this next right-hander. Now this one can be a bit of a tricky one as well. Uh, a little bit of a high speed uh, right left chicane so coming through here um, once I get past about that line there um, I'm off the accelerator onto the brakes but just really lightly once again on the brakes braking 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 um, back to fourth and then it's like a little ramp here on the sausage I'll pause it up here a bit further so you come up back to fourth now as you can see I'm starting to come across just lightly on the brakes there uh, but your right wheels so if you can hit here on your right wheel, it sort of gradually gets you up over the curb and then it's not so much of a shock. So if you're coming through here, you're gonna hit that sausage curb and bang, smack your, your wheels up. You're gonna 
you know, really kick the car out. Um, but if you can sort of get your right tyre on there and then up onto the sausage curve, it's more of a gradual sort of bump over the curve and then it settles you so you can uh, get into that next left-hander, as you'll see here. It's just nice and gradual. It still gives you a kick, but it's not like that real hard whack and sort of tends to shoot you off and unsteady the car. <clears throat> so as you can see there, uh, through the right-hander, keeping it steady and then pretty much as you're coming back down, you're starting to accelerate out of that left-hander. Not too hard as it will shoot you out here to the right um, and you can't really put your left uh, tires further out over that uh, red and white uh, curbing there. So yeah, out to the right here and then this can be a really tricky one as well. So coming out nice and tight and about there. So I look, I use these tires over here on here on the left as a uh, bit of an indicator. Uh, so just before I'm off the accelerator, so that's probably about two or three car lengths. Um, I'm off, but I'm gradually accelerating and then trying to get, I don't uh, brake all the way out this way. Once again, trying to brake as much as you can in a straight line. Um, I don't stay out here. I sort of come more across here, aiming for the corner and uh, trying to get myself around as you'll see here. So from fourth, back to third, back to second. See, I'm still, I'm coming across gradually, but just staying in a straight line as well, just to not, unsteady the car and not to get the arse end to come out. But if you stay out here, about a car length, coming out and then just gradually working your way back across here to the apex and keeping it nice and tight on the curb for our exit. As you'll see here, it's coming nice and tight, accelerating as you're pretty much through mid corner and then it just accelerating out pretty much straight forward that right and this left. So coming up to this next one, can be a little bit tricky. Uh, at that first, uh, I'll go back a little bit. Oop. So at the 100 here, uh, that's where I indicate. So I'm off the, acceler off the yeah, accelerator, as you can see there. <clears throat> this line and this run probably won't work for, it works for racing. It's a quick line, but, and a quick place like to learn to brake and accelerate. But I suppose if someone gets a good run out of that last corner, which they probably won't, they can probably bang up the inside if you brake where I have. So typically about here, but yeah, this is a uh, where I've broken on this lap and it got me a decent time. So just before the 100 here, uh, breaking in a straight line as usual. Uh, I used to go back to third here uh, just to get the car pulled up and turned into the corner. But if you're breaking uh, at the 100 here, you go back to fourth and then just before the dip, you just start coming in and get your right uh, tires onto that um, yellow sausage curb as you'll see here. So back to fourth. Coming across a little bit early, just nicking that sausage curb. And as you can hear there, I'll go back a little bit. So I'm hitting the sausage curb here and then getting back on the accelerator. So I'm pretty much on the accelerator flat stick through there. And then just as you come to here, you get off the accelerator, which helps you with the compression turn left into the corner. And then you can just get your right side tires just outside that curb there, just to get you around. Cause you don't want to drift all the way over to the right side of the track here, as I'll show you here. So you're coming nice and tight there, but you don't want to come right out here. You want to stay sort of more mid track just to get yourself back across the left here to set you up for the next right, as you see here. So I've gone across a little bit wide there, but still seem to work. I've come back across to the left just to set myself up for the right. So this can be a bit of a tricky one, this right hand. You don't want to outbreak yourself, uh, as my teammate keeps telling me. <laughs> um, this, yeah, you want to be pulled up nice and early just to get yourself a bit of a late apex into this corner and get a good acceleration out. It does have, uh, as you can see on the track map here, it, it's like more of a right-hander just here, but then it, it gets tighter as it comes out. So it's a good runoff just to get um, a good bit of speed out of that corner, as you'll see here. So going back down the gears, back down to second, coming across sort of a mid apex, I suppose, just to keep that um, speed up and you can get a good run out of here. You can use this green here, but just try not to chuck your right hand uh, tires out over that red and white ripple strip. So accelerating out of here. You can stay mid track here or drift right over to the right just to set up this next left hander. Nothing too complicated. Just at um, this white line here before the 100. So that white line there, I get off the accelerator. On the brakes, uh, if you want to brake a little bit later in this corner, if you get a good run out of it to overtake someone, go about mid. You can even go a little bit later, but probably about mid corner. Uh, I saw Latham do it the other night, uh, up the inside, and then just, yeah, nice and tight on that curve and get a good run out for the, the last straight. It's coming down, all the way back down to second gear in a straight line coming around a bit more of a later apex but i've carried the speed through there so that was quite good now this last one um i was watching uh what's his name scott gamble um he was straight lining this basically more than what i do i come right out here 
and come in and just nick the sausage curve with my right tires and then nick them with my left tires coming out of here and then just accelerating out as hard as I can, trying to keep a gradual, like about half acceleration through there just to keep the pace up and then accelerating out real hard onto the uh, straight. I'll just come up here a little bit further. So what I saw, um, what's Scott doing? Uh, he was banging it straight through here. And it was he was keeping a lot of time up, so maybe that might be a secret. I was unsteadying the car if I sort of hit here, but he was coming th right through here. I don't know if he was getting a penalty or whatever, but I just saw it on the replay. Yeah, so he was coming through and hitting here. I'm, as you can see, coming through here and then just nicking around here. He was banging it straight over there and then straight over here and just getting a good run onto the straight. So that might be something to look at if you are in the future and trying to get a bit of time off. So just, yeah. With this lap, I'm uh, right tyres just on the curb there, just on the curb here with the left tyres. Once you hit here, accelerating out as hard as you can using all this green ripple strip out here on the right. All right, and that's a uh, track guide, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a little bit better than the one I did on Monday. I was still fluffing around with everything. Didn't never run this course before, so uh, wasn't completely familiar. So it probably wasn't the best time, best track guide. But I hope this one helps, guys. And can't wait to see you in the race. Cheers. Catch up.